everyone, it's Han here again. Um, what I have here is a, a little, um, I call it a purse, a little treasure packet made out of the embroidered trim. Now, of course, you, if you haven't got any embroidered trim, you could use anything to make this. But because I've got the trim and I'm in love with it, I'm going to use the embroidered trim. And I've made it so that it can go anywhere on a page and it, it's just floating there. It's, um, it's, it's not, it doesn't need a paper clip or it doesn't need to be glued down and you can place it anywhere you like. So I'll show you how I did that. I've got some more of the trim. And I've cut a piece which um, it's just a guesstimate. I could measure this, but it depends on how big you want to make yours. Uh, but all I've done it was to fold it up the approximate size I wanted the, the little pouch to be, and then allow a piece to be folded over for the flap at the top. So, you know, this piece is... 17 centimeters, but it depends on how wide your trim is or fabric um, and how big or small you want yours. So I cut off the piece and all as I did was take it over to my machine and zigzag along each end just to um, stop those raw edges from unraveling. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it how it's going to be when it's sewn together. Turn it over onto the back. I'm going to get a piece of card that's a little bit wide. It needs to be about there. Little, yeah, a little piece of card that is smaller than the back. I'm going to fold it in half. Okay, I'm going to mark that with a pin. So it needs to be about there. Okay, I can see where I'm going to sew that. Alright, so I'm going to take that over to my machine and I'm just going to machine along the fold in the card. I'll be right back. All right, I've just machined that onto the back so that when it's folded together the card is, is like that on the back. Okay, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just sew down both of the side seams to make it into a little purse. All right, so what I've got is um, the piece of embroidered trim has now been uh, zigzagged along both of the row edges. I've sewn down the sides to make it into a little pouch and it's got a piece of card stitched down the middle of the back. Okay, now you might want to put a little popper or something on it to keep it closed. I've got these poppers here. I'm just going to sew one on. And you usually put the piece with the center piece sticking up on the bottom. So I'm just going to put that in the middle about there. Okay, that's one part on. And make sure you get it the right way around. It's got to have the little hole going inwards so that it can go over the hole that's sticking up on the bottom piece.
All right, so now we've got a closure on it. Now, the, the whole purpose of putting a little bit of card on the back is so that you can place it anywhere you like. Now, uh, this one, as I say, I've got just on a page in a, a journal and it's ready to do some journaling around it. If you don't want to do that, what I've got here is just a couple of backgrounds. If I fold that paper piece on the back in half, I've already made a slit in this background that it will fit through. I can just put it on a background like that and then stick that into my onto my page instead of ending up with the pieces coming through to the next page which I could just put over, over um, another piece of, of card and make it part of my next page work. Uh, in this case I've used um, art paper. I could just stick another piece of art paper over the back. But this one I could stick the whole piece in like that. Uh, looks quite nice on this um, handmade paper too. Oops, missed. Okay, and that's sort of ready to do some other work around it. And it's handy because if you've got a little treasure that you want to put in your journal but it doesn't lend itself to um, be glued in as such, maybe it's a coin or a jewel or a piece of jewellery or anything that's just a little keepsake that you want to slip into a pocket you can pop it in here but it still becomes part of the journal so and then you can stick these down uh, with a bit of glue so they don't come off and you can actually stick over another piece of paper so it completely disappears so that was just a little idea that I had because I'm just enjoying playing with this trim so much and I thought yeah make a little um, treasure purse and then that can sit in the journal too or alternatively you can make them up as little gift pouches if you want to give somebody a piece of jewellery or uh, money or something as a gift it makes a lovely little purse and in that case you wouldn't put the card on the back you just leave it as a little purse so that was my idea for today I hope you have fun making some and I hope to see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.